Welcome to Empower to Grow, the podcast. I am your host, Hanan Al Basha, the business doctor. Following our conversations with empowered women who woke up one day and consciously claimed, I am more than enough, I am worthy, I am empowered to grow. And along their empowering journey towards realizing their own potential and their quest for growth, they became a beacon of hope and guidance for others. May you also find your inner power to grow. Welcome everyone. This is going to be a very exciting episode. I know that in advance. I have my dear friend Belinda Height with me today. And Belinda is the CEO and founder of Ethical Change Agency. She's based in Brisbane, Australia. Um, Benny has taken decades, literally, of experience and harnessed the power of her own healing to support ethical business leaders, um, change makers, holistic healers to align their message with their mission and create collective change globally. Now, um, Binny and I got to meet about a couple of years ago now, I think, around about a year and a half. And it was um, an amazing experience to, uh, to get to know her. And we've been very close since then. So Bindi, hi. Thank you for being on the show. <laughs> Thank you, Hanan, for having me. I'm so honored to be here. It was beautiful. And of course, I have to very publicly announce that Vinny was the one that helped me set up the show <laughs> because she's the expert on podcasts. I'm like, Vinny, I need your help. Please, you have it. Go for it. <laughs> I'm so um, honored to have the opportunity to help you bring this to life. And um, I know you're going to take it to great places. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Okay, so the first question, and I know that was what came yeah, to your yeah. mind, but I think everyone else wants to know now. The show What's is that? named Empowered to Grow. So mm. what came to your mind when you heard the phrase, when I told you, I'm going to call the show Empowered to Grow? It's a pretty big statement, I have to say, Empowered to Grow. Um, and I think, you know, the minute um, – that you understand that you have that empowerment in yourself to, to be who you are and, and shine um, mm-hmm. as you're meant to be in the universe. I think that itself um, presents you with what you need to grow um, in the moment and in time. So I think um, what you're bringing to life here is, is very special for so many people. And um, yeah, I thank you for that. Right. So I know you've empowered yourself to grow in your Mm -hmm. own unique way. (laughs) Mm -hmm. So I'd love everyone to hear um, a bit about your story and for you to share with us um, your view on the empowerment part. Well, as you know, it's kind of difficult for me to be on the other side of the (laughs) the chair. Yes, it is. I'm usually someone asking someone else a question. So this is um, very difficult for me. Well, not difficult, but challenging. Um, And, um, yeah, so to give you a little background, um, so where I'm at right now, I'll take you to the present and I'll take you back um, where we are right now. Um, I'm the founder of uh, the Ethical Change Agency. And to give you some background, um, that came to me through a vision uh, after a meditation and um, I was sent the message that I needed to spread the message of ethical change leaders and um, change makers and holistic healers to have a space where they could come globally and share their message. So a lot of the work that I do is actually helping people find not only their mission, but their message and aligning the two. Um, So that's a little bit of a condensed version, but where we're at right now is um, I, uh, I'm sitting right here right now in my recording studio and um, yes, I do help people start their own podcast. So if you're someone who thinks, hmm, I'm kind of curious about this kind of stuff, it's taking off, please Mm -hmm. get in touch because that's what I do. Um, That is my secret source. Um, I do have other digital uh, abilities in my background, but where I'm at right now, um, I think I have found a formula that I've not seen anywhere else where mm-hmm. uh, so people we get can the coach. exclusive now. 
this is an exclusive <laughs> look out this is it uh where i'm you know, i'm offering uh workshops for people it's an hour workshop and uh i'm calling it um message to mission and so um it's where people can work out their stuff basically and mm. uh, get their message right because there's so many conscious creators out there who cannot understand what their message is and share that with people so they they're like oh yeah i do this but when someone talks to them no one has a clue what they're talking about That's so true. it's all about getting clarity in your message That's and true. owning that getting really clear narrow focused on what you want to achieve and attracting the clients that you need to have and also lighting yourself up at the same time in your mm -hmm. own business mm -hmm. so if you're like trying to be everything to everyone, it's not really going to, you know, meet the mark every time. And I'm, I'm seeing so I, many I people. I spent three who, years there at least. <laughs> <laughs> you're right there, you know. So um, it's, it's seeing people who are coaches and going, you know what, you can't be everything to everyone. You need mm -hmm. to narrow down and focus on what it is that it is that you're providing to people and what it is that lights you up. And that's why we go into business, right? That's true. We want to be happy and we want to help others. So, And we want to serve, um, but it is important, exactly. as you said, when you know who you're serving, then you can cater mm -hmm. your services to them. And then there's definitely, there's, there's always a spillover to other people and then they can mm -hmm. come in and they realize that, you know, you could serve them too, which is a beautiful thing. Um, I also want you to share a bit on the personal side. <laughs> oh, personal side. Oh, yeah. gosh okay all right let's go there your um, healing journey <laughs> my healing okay so um i've come from um a very diverse background but um a lot of uh bullying and uh, abusive relationships in my past and um in the last year or so i've really taken um the reins and decided to uh you know, have some healing in that space. And so I've been working with a sound healer for about a year and a half now. And um, you, you, Hanan, have known me for nearly a year now and you've seen the difference in me. So um, I've been, you know, releasing um, all of those blocks and resistances that, you know, have stopped me from achieving what I want to and also um, being who I want to be. So it's all about self-expression being myself and accepting myself as well so yes. um the moment you understand who you are and accepting that's okay i think is a really <laughs> big thing you know you know you know, you know what? you're all right and i think i like you is is a big thing yeah i think i um the way i always thought of it and i think we we've, we've said this over and over again between ourselves is mm. when you come from a place where you're unapologetically you Mm. I think that's, that is the essence of what self-empowerment is. I mean, mm. we're all, all of us, we have parts in us that, um, well, that require healing parts of us that we're not too sure we like that much and stuff, mm. but it is when you accept all of you, then that's when the healing starts and that's where you start loving yourself. And, and I think self-love as an expression has been exploited one way or another with, um, you know, with the baths and the, and the manis mm -hmm. and the petties and all of that, but it is truly, it is about <laughs> accepting yourself first. And that's when you start taking care of yourself and you start healing yourself. And as you said, you start reaching out to others who can support you and guide you in your journey. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I think it's um, really important to, and, and, you know, you might think you know who you are, but when you take the time to really understand who you are and like, see your faults and your flaws and all the beautiful things about yourself. I think if you can take all of those in one big embrace and understand mm. that, you know, what, they're all okay. They're all yeah. me and I'm yeah. going to take care of them and I'm mm. going to understand them and I'm going to grow them to be the best they can be. I think that is where true empowerment is. That's true. So, mm. Following up on that, from where you stand now, what advice mm. would you impart on your 20-year-old self? My 20-year-old self? <laughs> Ooh, 
gosh, that was a long time ago. Um, <laughs> Not cool. that long ago. Come on. <laughs> oh, come on. Um, so <laughs> I think if we sat down with 20-year-old Bindi, I would say, you know what? Whatever you do is okay. Um, there are no mistakes. They're all growth. It's all learning. Um, it's okay if you make mistakes. It's okay if they're quite epic. Um, and it's okay um, if things don't go right. Um, that is the way things are meant to be. And I think it's not until, you know, you have a couple of decades under your belt that you really understand that you go, huh, so the universe has already got this in flight and I'm just on the ride. And the moment you can understand that, I think you can go, hmm, all right. If we just knew that at 20, I think we'd have a very different experience at 45, can I just say? <laughs> yeah. So, okay. So now it's the other way around. You're with the Ooh. power of a time capsule. What would you aspire mm. that your 90-year-old self thanks you for? Oh, Thanks. Today's baby. Well, I've been fortunate to actually go through a, um, a journey of my um, previous and future lives so let me share some of that yes, <laughs> um, please. I'm um, curious now <laughs> <laughs> yeah so um my future self would thank myself for being adventurous being curious mm-hmm. and for um challenging the status quo I think uh is is super important and um yeah, she would be unapologetic for being herself and, and um, you know, giving all she could to herself and not sacrificing herself for others. I think if there was anything at 90 that I could give to anyone else is to just really give as much as you can to yourself. Mm-hmm. Sure. Sure. Well, I love that. So your journey, your healing, your growth, Mm. all of that, you're on a stage right now and you're summing up your speech to tens of thousands of women in front of you. And the speech is empowered to grow. What would be your closing statement for that speech? What would, what would be that pearl of wisdom you leave them with? Gosh, that's huge. Um, <clears throat> I thought I asked big questions. You've, you've learned something from me here. Um, I have. <laughs> Learn ooh. from the master. <laughs> um, oh, I'd really have to say, um, you know, if there was one thing I could wrap up in a ball, um, I think we all just have to stop and breathe. Mm-hmm. And understand that all we have is now. Sure. The present moment is all we have. And, you know, trying to project in the future um, is not really going to serve any of us or dwelling on the past isn't going to help us either. Um, but aside from that, I think one of the big things that I've really, I mean, God, I have so many lessons to, to share, but... Um, Another is, you know, like one person, and, and, and so the big, the big mission behind what I do, mm-hmm. it's all about collective change. And if you can make one change today, no matter how small it is, yes, please just stop and think about the choices and decisions you make and how mm-hmm. what you do today impacts others. Um, you know, I think we all have a part to play and the moment we can stop and reflect and understand that our decisions impact everyone on this earth. And I think, you know, everyone right now can see um, with what's going on with the pandemic um, quite visually and literally how much one person's actions can impact everyone else. I think that is probably my biggest message I can share out of everything um and that all relates to collective change but i think you know just stop and think you know if things really don't work for you mm-hmm. stop and think well, how can i make this better don't just go well this is 
you know, it's just crap, you know, whatever it is, just go, how can I bring a change about in a very small way or a large way through collective, you know, connections with people? Um, just stop and think that whatever that pebble is you put into the pond, you can make that ripple go globally. Yes, that's, I think that's a beautiful thing. First of all, that we underestimate the impact we could create. Um, just as you said, with the smallest of changes, I think personally, I've, I've realized that especially during those lockdown months and being home and just being able to use my voice and my knowledge and, and sharing, and that has, you know, kind come back tenfold. And then th- that empowered me to say, now I want to do more. And I think this, this podcast was, was a result of that as well. Um, and more importantly, that whatever we do has that ripple effect. I call it the ripple, you know, the positive impact ripple effect that, you know, I, I want to buy kind of chaperone and I want a champion in that sense, just to make sure that even a smile, I keep saying the impact of one smile, one pat on the back, one, you got this, um, all of these could have humongous um, impact on other people's lives. And when one person is impacted, they go out and they impact further people, whether within their direct circle or within their, you know, now we've got the virtual space, which Mm. uh, brings us uh, to the point of where can our listeners find you in the virtual space? Where can people find me? Um, Well, (laughs) um, if you head to ethicalchangeagency.com, you'll find me. Um, But uh, you'll also find me in the podcast world at theethicalevolution.com. So, um, yeah, sharing huge and amazing stories of people around the world creating collective change. That's great. Well, thank you, my friend. (laughs) Thank you for sharing your energy. Can I just say to everyone, like, I am so grateful to Hanan for all the help that she gives me and I reciprocate that back. So thank you so much. I love you. I love you. Thank you. Love you Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Um, Well, stay uh, (laughs) grounded with yourself. Stay vigilant and stay conscious of your efforts and your, your abilities and your capabilities and love, abundance and prosperity to you all. Bye. Thank you for listening to the Empowered to Grow podcast. For further engagement with a tribe of empowered women, join my Facebook group, Empowered to Grow, or visit my website, www.hananelbasha.com. I'll catch you on the next episode. And until then, know that empowered you empowers others. Love, abundance, and prosperity to you all.